<laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't expect me to move like this? Or like that? Or like this? Didn't expect me to blink my eyes? Hmm? <laughs> so it works. Oof. It works. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's make a video out of this. How's it going everybody? There are two mini raptors here and welcome to another update video. This is a pretty big update, like it's a next generation of my face cam for this channel. And this is what I've been trying to work on for the past week and well, it's not 100%, but it's at least above 50% and I'm okay with that. So yeah. This is the kind of face cam I've been trying to implement right now. And I finally got to work. So yeah, hope you're all enjoying it thus far. <laughs> so a little backstory into why I've been trying to achieve this, honestly. And I think you all started seeing it last year, actually. You've been following my channel for the past year or two. Starting last year in 2018, I've been beginning to feel the burnout of applying face cam to my videos. Not that I didn't want to use face cam. I want to use face cam. I want you guys to see me. But I didn't like the process or the way how I did it. It's very tedious, very cumbersome, and you know, it's not all in all accurate. So one way I tried to solve this burnout of applying face cam is by not doing face cam at all, just sticking to the game itself and just applying a watermark on my videos. And I think starting last year, you could see some of my videos of that, like some of my Super Mario Odyssey videos, some of my Dragon Ball Fighter Z videos, maybe one Monster Hunter World video. That's because that was I I'm now in that phase where I was burnt out by using face cam. I didn't want to manually put in the proper face reaction, and, you know, go through the whole footage and all that, and put the proper face reaction and all that. So I just said, you know what, let's not do face cam for that video and just put, you know, uh, we call this a watermark and just rely on the game itself and it works somewhat but the problem is now it depends on the game I'm playing and I didn't like that I wanted people to come to my channel for me not entirely because of the game I'm playing so I still wanted to put in face cam but that still goes back to the problem of applying the face cam in a tedious effort so but I still just sucked it up and went through it until I started doing my Spider-Man PS4 Let's Play. Those videos were like an hour long, so that means I had to go through the entire hour plus more to manually add in the face cam. So, and also the story and personal stories I put in. So you could tell how long that takes. And it kind of took its toll on me when I started doing my Let's Plays on Kingdom Hearts 3. Those videos were like at max 2 hours and 30 plus minutes. And that one was like, wow, I don't want to go through the rest of my channel doing this. It was really burning me out. It really didn't emphasize me on doing more videos. So I had to search for other ways. What really made me start to search for other ways to properly apply the face cam was on my uh, uh, Sonic Team Racing Let's Play. I was really feeling burnt out by then, and that's when I started looking for another way with no hope in sight, honestly. In fact, that's why my Super Mario Maker 2 Let's Play was edited. It was meant to be, you know, full Let's Play, showing you everything. But because I was so burnt out now, one of my other ways of mitigating the problem of my burnout is by shortening the amount of footage I have. So that's what I did in my Super Mario Maker 2 Let's Play. I shortened it because each video was like an hour long and I didn't want to go through an hour again so I just shortened it and applied the face cam and while a lot of you enjoyed it I still felt the burnout of applying the face cam so that's when I was like you know what let me rest for a while and find another solution and I've been taking my time honestly until I found a certain camera and software that allows me to capture my movements almost in real time and that's what I've been doing so for the past week I've been you know taking it slow and trying to learn the ropes of this camera and the software that comes in with this camera and uh, yeah trying to make it work and it was hard much like learning a new software for your videos 
um, it's hard. It takes some time, and I was afraid that it might take me, you know, a few years to learn it. I finally got to work even after a few days, but some complications came up. And after a week now, this is what I came up with. Again, it's still a work in progress. It's not entirely accurate. As you can see, my mouth isn't exactly going the way how I wanted to go. And, uh, you know, if I go a bit too fast sometimes, it might not capture me properly anymore. Like, look, I'm gonna go fast right now. Oh, oh, see, it froze. See, it froze. That's the problem. See, the camera's not able to capture me properly. Uh, but at least it's 50% usable. That's how it is. In fact, you could say maybe 70, 80%. If you want to go really uh, nicely, it, you'd say it's almost like 90% and all that. So, yeah. This is the kind of face cam I want to use from now on. So, yeah. This is the big update that's coming to my channel later on in future videos. Now, of course, I want to point out something. Even though this is the way I'm gonna do face cam now in my videos, I'm still in the process of learning it, and there's still a lot of things to learn from the software and camera. And I have to learn now how to implement this in real time with um, getting footage of my videos now. Because remember, uh, this is another software that is used to properly capture my movement without any problems. Well, without with little problems. But at the same time, I also have to capture footage for my video. So there's like, what, three to four softwares now that are, you know, recording everything from voice to movement now to the footage and all that. And uh, I just want to make sure the computer can handle all that. So you could say that this video is more like a test video. So in the meantime, even though I want this to be my the kind of face cam I want right now, I still need more time. So expect uh, video uploads to be rather slow. I will try to make videos using this, but ex don't expect, you know, the usual upload schedule I create. Usually my upload schedule when I'm not doing a let's play is every four to five days. When I do a let's play, it's usually every other day. But because now I'm trying to implement something brand new in my channel, um, this may require more time and more effort to, and more, you know, sight to see. So don't expect that many videos, but I will try. I am very excited to use this right now. And yeah. Now the other thing is, because, uh, like I said, I've been trying to make this work. I've been trying to make it work on this formless form I have right now. I still have yet to... Uh, what do you call this? I still have yet to test to see if it could properly capture my other forms. So, yeah, that will take even more work and effort. But, at least now, we got a step ahead. There's a new generation of my face cam. I uh, Hopefully, with this new implementation, my new face cam, it would make my videos a lot easier to edit now in terms of face cam, which gives me more time to actually be more creative and more streamlined in how I make my videos. It'll, even give, it'll probably even give me more incentive to make more videos, actually. In addition, I hope this new implement, implementation of the face cam would, uh, would, you know, increase performance of this channel as well, you know? Make things better, faster, stronger, and yeah. So comment down below if you're liking it thus far. I know it's not perfect, but it is still a work in progress, but comment down below if you're really liking this thus far. I hope you do. I really hope you do. It's much better than the face cams I provide. <laughs> That's about it for this update video. So yeah, I'm taking it slow, like I said, but I will, I will be back. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the new feature here. Uh, comment down below what you're most excited about this thing. Well, I think I know exactly what you're most excited about this, but yeah, comment down below anyway how excited you are about this thing and yeah. I'm going to leave this video right here. Hopefully, when I edit this video, it's going to be a success, a starter success. And yeah, I'm going to leave this video right here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel, if you'd like to see more. Bye bye!